guys, it's me Chanel. In this video, I'm showing you guys how I uh, moisturize and seal my box braids. If you watched my last video, you already know that I've had these braids in for um, four weeks actually now. In my last video, I had them in for three weeks and I plan on wearing them for six weeks. So I have two more weeks left. Um, and I basically need to keep them up and make sure that they're looking good. So I moisturize and seal them. I have not washed them. The only thing that I do, the only maintenance that I do is moisturizing and sealing them. So go ahead and stay tuned to this video so you can see how I do that. So this is just a little sneak peek into what my braids looking like before I moisturize and seal them and bring them back to life, boo. Um, they is not cute at all. My ends look like they wanna unravel. My roots looking all crazy. It's just not the business. So I'm finna take care of this and get this handled real quick. Cause yeah, not cute. So to start off, I use my leave-in conditioner. Um, you can use whichever leave-in conditioner you got, but I use this Ion Moisturizing Miracle Leave-In Condition. Um, I spray this on my roots and then I bring it down a little bit onto my actual hair. Um, just about up to the point where I think my hair ends in the braids if that makes any sense just because I don't want to use too much of this product on the actual weave itself because that's a waste of money and um, because I'm trying to make sure that you know my braids is moisturized and looking good so I spray this in there like I said um, and then I work it in real good and make sure that I'm you know getting what I need to get the next thing that I put in is the braid spray. Um, this is braid sheet spray from African Pride. I like this one a lot. It has a lot of like essential oils and extracts in it and stuff like that. So I really like this. Anyway, um, it makes my hair very, very soft and it makes the weave soft too. So I spray this in from my roots all the way down to the end of the braid and I work that in. The next thing that I put in is my Jamaican black castor oil. This is the oil that I normally use when I'm moisturizing and sealing. Um, so I do this step anyway. So I, I figured why would I skip it while I'm moisturizing and sealing my braids. Um, don't make no sense. So I go ahead and I pour it in my hands and I make sure that I get it onto my fingertips. Um, and then I work it into my scalp where my new growth is. I usually only put this oil on my new growth anyway. So it was just easier to get to all the places on my scalp. Um, with my hair being braided up and sectioned off for me so yeah I go through I make sure I get the back um, I make sure that I keep the oil on my fingertips and I leave it in at the top then I take my almond oil which you see here which is the um, sweet almond oil from now solutions and I add this to the rest of the braids and I work it in to kind of seal off the braid um, or seal off I don't know it's similar to what I would normally do if I was moisturizing and sealing so boo the next thing that I add um, is the styling mousse. Um, this is like the setting spray or the setting wrap spray or whatever um, in the form of a mousse. So I go ahead and I use this. This stuff helps a lot. This little piece that I do right here is very helpful. Um, I basically, I put this in and it helps to keep the braid from looking raggedy on the outside um, it helps to bring all those little loose strands back into the braid um, and make the braids look proper and put together again so I put this in from the roots all the way down to the end of the braids um, and it just helps them to relax a little bit and you know look flowy and cute and beautiful and everything So yeah, that's my little moisturizing and sealing piece. That's how I get my braids to look proper um, while they're growing out and my new growth is showing and everything like that. That's how I keep the braids looking proper when they're up in a bun or something like that or when I'm wearing them down or however I wear them. Um, this is what helps me to keep them looking straight and to keep them up. Now we all know if you slay your edges with any hairstyle, it's gonna make it look better. So if I do that, I use my Eco Styler gel and my little toothbrush, um, and I just go ahead and go through and, you know, bring my little baby hairs out and make them look all cute. And then I style it however I wear it, like I mentioned, either in a bun or half up, half down. However, my braids will be looking a lot better than what they looked like at the beginning of the week or at the end of the week they gonna look better once I finish this process so that's how I do it um, 
hopefully I'll show you guys how I take these braids out in the process with that thanks for watching and I'll see you soon